Ukrainian defense forces advance up to two kilometers in all offensive sections in the south. In the south, the Ukrainian troops conduct active offensive operations in several directions at once, having advanced up to two kilometers in each. In the south, in almost all sections and directions where our units advance, they have tactical success. They are gradually moving forward. Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine, Hanna Malia, posted on Telegram. In some positions and settlements liberated from the enemy, according to Malia, the defense forces continue to gain a foothold. As of the evening of June the 16th, Ukrainian defenders continue to conduct offensive and defensive actions and have partial success. The defenders operate in the conditions of the enemy's air and artillery superiority. In the area where we hold the defense, not a single position has been lost and the enemy has not been able to advance. The deputy minister noted, according to Malia, the defense forces conduct both defensive and counter-offensive actions in the east. Here, the enemy is trying to dislodge Ukrainian troops from their positions, assaulting them in several directions at once, in particular in Lyman. In Bakhmut direction, the overall intensity of hostilities decreased somewhat. Ukrainian troops carry out offensive operations in some sections, occupying dominant heights and forest strips, with the aim of gradually displacing the enemy from the approaches to Bakhmut. The Russian invaders, for their part, make every effort to stop the offensive actions of the Ukrainian troops. In the east, the Russian army maintains a significant number of forces, which it continues to build up, redeploying additional units from other sections to Bakhmut direction. In Berdyansk and Mariupol sections, the enemy redeploys troops from other directions and increases firepower. In addition, our troops face continuous minefields. Malia added, 